You're watching the Wellness Hour News that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, it's called full mouth reconstruction. Patients that their mouths, their teeth are in really, their teeth and gums are in really bad condition. According to my first guest, he says you're never too far gone. Your teeth and gums are never too bad to not have the smile you've always wanted. Uh, with us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Sista. Dr. Sista, welcome to the program. Thanks, Randy, thanks for having me. All right, good, now, you brought a stack of photos, so we'll try to I get did. to as many of those as possible, but give us a working definition, like what is full mouth reconstruction? Randy, so full mouth reconstruction can mean a lot of things, um, but for today's interview, you know, we'll kind of narrow it down to, to basically mean that it's reconstructing or rebuilding a patient's mouth. You know, not everyone is ready to pull all their teeth out yet. So it's whatever we need to do to get their gums and tissue and teeth healthy so that they can get back to the life that they deserve. So even if somebody I like has gum disease, you know, the bleeding gums, bad breath, loose teeth, mm -hmm. they can still, like, cause you say losing teeth is expensive, that you can still maybe even save some teeth and give them a good smile. Do you Absolutely. see that a lot in your practice? Absolutely. And every day we see it. And so, you know, these patients come in and maybe they didn't know what options they had, or a lot of times they've avoided the dentist just because their preconceived notions about, you know, I don't want to lose all my teeth. So what we do is we give them options for saving teeth and, and just getting healthy and getting a beautiful smile that they can be okay, proud good. of. Who's the typical full mouth reconstruction patient you see? If you had to categorize them. Okay. Well, I mean, it really could be anyone, Randy, but I'll give you a few examples. Okay. Um, in some cases, it could be the person who was told that their only option is dentures. And, you know, their, their mom and dad had dentures, so they're just headed down this road for, I just know at some point I'm going to have dentures. So I had one patient came in, and he was in so much pain and was just tired of his teeth and, and thought his only option was dentures. And I literally had to talk him out of pulling all his teeth. And I said, we're not at that point yet. We can save a lot of your teeth, okay. um, but we can get things cleaned up. We can get rid of the infection, get you healthy, you know, get it to where you can chew again. And with a combination of treatments, implants, you know, some crown and bridge and, and getting them clean and healthy, he loves a smile now. And, and now he's looking forward to doing more treatment, you know, doing more cosmetic things like veneers and such, because he's comfortable. He's, he's happy with the smile now. So another category that we see is, you know, your typical patient that hasn't been in the office for, believe it or not, 15 or 20 years. And like not been to a dentist in 15 not years? Not at all. And, and the reason is, and I see this every day, Randy, it's, it's actually pretty terrible, but they had such a bad experience when they were young. And that pain or that painful memory has kept them away to the point where they neglect their teeth. And again, not having been to a dentist in 10 to 15 years, they think that, oh, you know what, I just have to get all my teeth pulled. And it's simply not the case. Um, really? We can, okay. do, we can do a lot of things to get people to where they have a full, beautiful, healthy smile, but still save teeth and combination of treatment of implants and veneers. You know, we can get them the beautiful smile, but not dentures. You're big on IV sedation. Absolutely. I, for me, it's the only way to practice. You know, when we're doing these bigger, complex treatments, you know, as it is, nobody likes coming to the dentist. I mean, I hear it all the time. <laughs> Do they say to you, like, the, no offense, doc? Every day. Um, Do you have I, a funny one-liner after all these years? Well, I, I tell them, I, you know, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I don't want to be here either. But, you know, we're <laughs> okay, here. Good. And, you know, let's do the best we can to get you taken care of. So with IV sedation, we're able to get patients the treatment that they need and do it in a way where they're comfortable. They don't remember the procedure. They go to sleep. And they or they remember have, very little of the procedure. They, they remember very little. Um, and, and time just seems to, to go by. So even if it's a three or four hour procedure, for them it might be like 30 minutes. And, and it really allows them to come in and get the treatment that they need, but in a comfortable fashion to where they can get through it, we can get through it, and everyone's happy. Now, what about safety? Like, how does it stack up? So, with sedation we're talking about. Well, depending on the case, you know, sometimes we do general anesthesia and sometimes we do moderate sedation. But in all cases, our patients are safer because we're able to manage, you know, through anesthesia and, and IV, their their health we're monitoring them and and so they never get like to what, the like point blood, bl blood pressure blood pressure uh oxygen levels you know they're they're getting supplemental oxygen you know and the medications that we give them actually can help lower their blood pressure or or keep them at a state where they're just comfortable they're not stressing their body okay. like they would otherwise because they're now, not when, tensed up when you say you could do like six months worth of dental visits in one visit what does that mean 
because of sedation. So a lot of times, you know, we're limited based on, on what the patient can tolerate. And, and so, you know, they can only be in the chair for so long and they can only take so much treatment. Um, so in cases like that, we have to appoint them multiple times to come back just to finish something. With IV sedation, we can do more in a single visit because we've taken that aspect out of it. The patient's not stressed, they're not tense, they're not sitting there in the chair worried about how much longer am I gonna be here? And so we can finish treatment faster. So, you know, as an example, uh, in, in some cases, I can do implants and crowns, you know, something that may take four to five hours because we're working on both sides of the mouth and, and multiple areas. And, and that patient without sedation would probably have to come a few visits. But with sedation, we can get everything taken care of in one visit, and, and then they're out the door in, in a few hours, but they don't have to come back for it. So with sedation, you know, because we can reduce the number of visits, I mean, I've got kids, you know, taking time off work is difficult to have to go back multiple times and you have much three more. kids I've got three three kids. little dentists yeah hopefully. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> um, but you know or to have to to get permission from your boss to go to the dentist five or six times yeah. for, to get one tooth taken care of you know so it's tough and and again with IV sedation we can just do more in one visit patients happier you know less stressful and they can get the work that they need in and out and be done in, in one to two visits what about the phobics? Like people are just literally afraid of the dentist. Yeah, and those are the ones that- Is that rare? It's common. Really? And, and we see it often, and, and in our office, because we can do sedation and we can do these more complex treatments, then that's when we see those patients that haven't been to the dentist in 20 to 30 years because they're scared. But knowing that they have an option where they can not only get the treatment that they need, but in a fashion that they don't have to stress and worry about, um, they can finally get the treatment that they've been putting off for, for years. Is it true that like less than 10% of all general dentists even have IV sedation available? I mean, as yeah, far as that training? Yeah, it, it really is, you know, is it's it even a shame. more than that, less than that? It's, it's, it's probably more than that. And, it, and it's a shame because with that type of sedation, that, that service that we can offer our patients, it's really what helps, you know, keep them coming and, and keep them coming in the door instead of shying away from us. They, Nobody likes going to the dentist because it's painful, <laughs> right, right. it takes forever, um, and, and it's stressful. I mean, You said for some people you have to give them a pill the night before. They're so nervous about the dentist. Yeah, absolutely, because without a good night's sleep, then they come in and their blood pressure's through the roof, and, and they're anxious, and they're stressed out, and so, you know, with the pre-sedation and then the sedation visit, we take all that up. What about way. older patients? Like, we're talking about, for people just tuning in, full mouth reconstruction today, rebuilding mouths, saving some teeth, combination of procedures. Um, how old can you be to do this? Or what's your, some of your older so patients that you're That's a building? great question, and I get that all the time. I have patients in my chair who'll say, you know, am I too old for this? And my response is, I'm never gonna put a cap on, on when you can get treatment, because it's not for me to decide how you should live your life, and, and really, the, if you wanna enjoy your life in, well into your 90s, my grandmother's 96, and wow, okay. you know, I'm, I wouldn't tell her that at the age of 90 or 92 or even 95 that you can't get dental implants. Like, what's your oldest patient that you did like a full mouth makeover kind of a thing? Uh, 88. So why would an 88 year old want to do this? Well, at 88, you know, you can still be young and, and vibrant, and there's nothing saying that you know at this stage of your life that you should have to drink your food and okay. you know lug your dentures around. So you know I have a patient who she was adamant, and she told her son, you know, don't worry about the cost of this treatment. I don't want to take my teeth in and out. I don't want dentures. And and again, I mean, she's living life to the fullest. She's smiling. She's eating the foods that she wants to eat. She's still eating steak. Um, <laughs> you know, so that's 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 my answer to the question about age. So you say it's life changing. Absolutely. To, to fix your teeth, especially if you don't like them. I've got picks to back it up. All right. Here we go. Okay, so this patient, he was told multiple things um, as far as his options. And, you know, he was battling in and out like a lot of people who they've been going to the dentist for the past 30, 40 years and still never had a comfortable bite or never had a smile that they were happy with. So with a combination of treatments, we were be able we were able to get you know his infections under control. We were able to get him healthy, and you know got to the point where he could eat a steak. I mean, he really wanted to eat a steak, and you know you can see you can look at the smile on his face, and he's loving life. Um, couldn't be happier. So take a look at his smile. I mean, he's still learning. You know, a lot of these patients when they go through these types of treatment, these full mouth reconstructions, they haven't smiled in years, Randy. And so what they're learning to do is reactivate those muscles around their mouth. And and so you can tell from his smile. I mean, this is shortly after we delivered his final teeth, but he's still working on his smile. He's still got to practice. It's not as natural as it could be. Not as natural as he could be. But you know, you see him in the office today, and and he's 
love in life and, and, and you can't uh, stop smiling. And Like when they look at the mirror, like when they're in your office and, and they see the mirror the first time, you say sometimes they get choked up. Absolutely. I mean, I, I get choked up because that's, that's what I live for. I, I live for the expression on their face and more importantly, expression on their significant other or their family member, whoever comes with them, because this has been a lifelong journey for them and, you know, maybe something that they never thought they could have. So when we're able to do these transformations for these patients, it evokes emotions for, you know, that they've been harboring for their entire life. So yeah, a lot of the procedures we do in our office, um, you know, in, in a lot of cases, most patients otherwise would have to go to see three or four doctors to get these types of treatments. And, you know, at the end of the day, patients don't want to bounce around from one doc to another. They, they want to be able to see one person and or under one roof and know that they're going to get taken care of. And so with the combination of whether it's if you need a root canal or if you need a crown. So normally like a root canal, you would go to? You'd see like an endodontist. An endodontist. Yes. And so then, you do that there at your absolutely. office? Okay. Um, or if they need braces or, you know, adult ortho, um, crown and bridge, oral surgery, implants, sedation. These are all things that we can do under one roof at our practice. All right there. Yeah. You say they don't like to be bounced around. Yeah, they, they, they want accountability. They want, you know, comprehensive care and to know that, okay, if I come here, I'm going to get taken care now, of. Uh, just for a moment, we'll get back to the full mouth yeah. reconstruction, but also cosmetic dentures. You do some of those. Absolutely. Yeah, the dentures that we make, we can, we have a wide array of possibilities and materials that we can use. But again, we're expanding our scope so we can offer more things to patients instead of, you know, a cookie cutter situation where it's, you know, this is all we have to offer you. So not everybody could afford maybe some of the bigger Absolutely procedures. Not. But we can do some things with, where, with you know, we can, dentures. we can give them a beautiful smile, but it's better than a regular denture because it doesn't move around. And Fits so better. it can snap on. So these aren't the same dentures that you know, our grandparents may have had. These are beautiful, aesthetic, strong teeth that that you wouldn't even be able to tell if this patient walked down the street and, and smiled at you that they're wearing a denture. So not everyone can afford these larger procedures where we're doing multiple implants, and, and we do those in our office. We do a lot of those cases, but we also understand that, you know, for some patients, they just may need to get a start. They just want to get healthy, and they want a beautiful smile. And I don't love dentures next, you know, just like nobody loves dentures, but in some cases it's a start and, and we can get them healthy. We can get them on the right track and maybe we can come back and do some other treatment later. Okay, good. Good. You have more photos. Yeah, absolutely. So this one here, love this one. Um, she had been a part of our practice for years and, um, you know, we would talk every time I see her every six months, you know loose gums, bleeding, uh, bleeding areas, teeth that were moving around, and, and she was dealing with a removable partial. And just wasn't happy, but didn't like the idea of going to a denture. And so, you know, she finally got to the point where she decided, I've got to do something about this. She's like, I want to be able to smile with my kids. I want to go out, you know, she's a big family person, always does these huge 30, 40 people family reunions. And she's like, I just want to be comfortable, happy, smile, and eat what I want to eat. So. We were able to take care of her, and she literally, you know, to this day, will send us emails, and she travels all over the world um, with her family, and she'll send pictures and saying, just to say thank you, and she's taking pictures with her grandkids. Nice. And, and that's really what makes it worth it for us. Um, it's, you know, allowing her to be who she is and who she wants to be with her family and, and not have to worry about it, and she's healthy, and she's happy, and again, a combination of treatments to get her to the point where she had teeth that she absolutely loves and she's healthy and she can eat what she wants to eat. So here's another patient. All right. Um, again, similar, you know, situation that we see oftentimes where uh, has several teeth that can be saved, but has some pretty big areas of infection. And, and so what we talked to him about, again, he didn't realize what options he had. You know, not everyone is a full mouth implant case. Not everyone is a denture case, and but they don't know the options. So when you say they had an infection, like this bacteria, like a like a gum disease kind of thing. Yeah. Going so on? when you've got loose teeth or when you've got gum disease, essentially what happens is the infection just continues to eat away at the bone, and so it just it's this snowball effect. And, and so it why just is that a problem with the infection? I mean, it seems probably obvious, but. 
It, well, you hear about the infection going into the bone. Yeah, well, we continue to lose bone. It just eats away at the bone. And then and, what happens? And then you start losing more teeth. And, but the and teeth get loose because of this They get loose lack of because bone? of it, because the bone is what holds the teeth together, right? And it's just this ongoing thing. And oftentimes, patients don't even realize it, because if you can't see it and you can't feel it, you don't know what's going on. They just might notice, oh, my teeth are a little bit loose. And next thing you know, they've got this huge infection in their jaw. So, and you can clean that up. And we can clean that up. And, and so our goal, you know, it's, it's expensive to lose teeth. Yeah. Uh, we, we understand that. And, and we want to save as many teeth as we can. And we want to get you healthy. And, and so that's why we've got options across the board with the types of treatments that we can do to get you healthy and not just say, okay, yeah, it's a one good, size good. fits all. And, and that's we take why we invite you on the show. Because, you know, this was for those people that they're not quite ready for a full mouth of teeth Absolutely. to come out. Okay, yeah. good for you. Good. Yeah. So what's his after? Is that him over there? So yeah, this good? is after. And I mean... You know, he's <laughs> okay. I mean, he he got his smile down right away, and and a, a great guy, uh, just very unassuming. But now he smiles like you know, his smile is as bright as the sky, and and he's always smiling, and and he feels more than anything. You know, he didn't come in to be honest, looking for any kind of cosmetic makeover. He just wanted to get to the point where he was out of pain and healthy. He got the result. So the side know, effect is a good. The smile side effect is, and now he's smiling, and you know talking about you know what an impact that's had and and how everyone compliments him on his smile now you say it like like with this gum disease thing right i mean he could brush all day long you say it's hard once it's a bacterial infection it's tough to get rid of it yeah, with floss and, and brushing and in some cases it's it, it's beyond their control like you said i mean i've got some of these patients who come in and they they're regulars and they come in every six months and they brush and floss probably more than you and i do okay and but they just they were dealt a bad hand you know and and there's a genetic component to it that they can't control so what we do is you know again we take care of the areas that need to be taken care of and we help them manage these situations. So his breath, because you know sometimes it's associated with bad breath. Absolutely. I guess this bacteria has an yeah, odor. It does. It does. And so with him, it's gone. It's gone. And again, once we can treat the infection, and it's not something that you know a lot of a lot of times patients will just come in and they'll ask if we can, you know, prescribe them antibiotics. Right? You can't take a pill to get this taken care of. It's something that oh, internal good. that we've got to address. But once we address it, then they start to notice the effects that it has everywhere else. Um, and, and so once we can get that cleaned up, then... And especially, like, you know, in light of COVID and things like that. Absolutely. That, you know, and I talked to a lot of my medical doctors that are anti-aging or integrative medicine doctors, that these infections in the mouth, and now they're on board, these MDs, yeah. that it, there's an immune response. Absolutely. So I when mean, you clear it up for a guy like this, you're kind of strengthening his, his immune, immune system. system. Yeah, because if you've got an infection that your body is fighting, I mean, just because it's in the mouth, it's still part of your body. And on a daily basis, your body is fighting that infection. And, and again, it's not something that you can easily see or feel all the time, but it's there. And so, it's, so you clear up that infection, and now their immune system can work on maybe something exactly. else. Exactly. The resources COVID can be used or whatever to find, it is. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. And you're, now, in light of COVID, I mean, we've talked, I mean, Dennis, have, you know, because like, look, dentists were around in the AIDS days, yeah. right? So you guys have always been worried about aerosols and things like that. Can yeah, you elaborate on that? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's, you know, obviously COVID has been tough for a lot of people. But as you mentioned, I mean, we're, you know, our level of sterilization and, and care has always been above, you know, other than the operating room in a hospital. Um, and so we manage it well. It was nothing new for us. I mean, we put in, you know, in our office, we but put you in. you picked it up a notch, right? We've, we've definitely stepped it up a notch and, and did, you know, whether it's uh, filtration systems within the office, you know, uh, fogging every day at the end of the day. Is that to, right? So you fog yeah, the office? We fog the office with um, solutions to help kill any aerosols and, you know, just taking additional measures to make sure that patients feel comfortable. I had a dentist say, you know, because I, you know, we all confuse this, but he's saying, right, it's not like you're going to the hospital. Yeah. You know, the, there's going to be some people with problems, but most people come to the dentist, they're, they're feeling pretty good. Absolutely. And, and in addition to, you know, just kind of streaming back as far as the the number of patients that we have in the office and right now we're not having patients wait in the waiting room and we're checking temperatures Where are they waiting? And they're waiting in their car you know oh, that's comfortable good. listening to their music but we'll come out to the car we'll check their temperature and and we'll screen patients to make sure that they're healthy and, and feeling okay before we see them so you know oftentimes i mean i have my parents come into the office okay. and you know they may be considered high risk because of their age and and my father has diabetes but you know, I feel comfortable with them coming to the dental office because sometimes it's safer than going to the grocery store. So let's take a look at this next patient here. Um, and, and this one, this is actually typical in my office. Okay, so this patient here, typical mom, 
you know, take care of everyone else first. Um, has her kids have braces and everything else, but what happened with her was a combination of infections and medications that really did a number on her teeth. Okay. And and she was so focused on taking care of everyone else that you know, these things progressed. And so when she came to see us, then again, we told her, you know, there's the options that we have to get you healthy because if you're not healthy, then you can't take care of everyone else in the family. Okay. So it's important. Do you get excited on some of these patients? Like they come in with very low goals, low expectations. Absolutely. You're going, boy, this is going to be good. Because I can picture it. I, I mean, it's, you know, you do this long enough, Randy, then you can start to see the the inner beauty that these patients have that That's they're good. they're guarded they don't smile they they either cover their smile with their face I mean this or, has got to be unusual like what I'm looking at with absolutely her. it's really not it's you know we see that every day and. And again, that's kind of why we can start to pick up on these things where I can tell a patient, I know you've got this huge, beautiful smile. I, I know that you've got this personality that you want to show, but because of what's happened over the years, then you just tend to compromise yourself and, and cover things up. And there's people walking around like this every single day. Um, just, you never see them because they're not smiling. They're not smiling. And, and they may get labeled as being, you know, upset or grumpy or just mad at the world, but they've got other things going <laughs> Can on. Can you spot it? You're walking around Houston and you see, man, I, you know, I bet, or even on Facebook, you see, since I talked to you, I could see people smi yeah. smiling with their mouth closed. Well, they, they just naturally start to, to cover things up and they accommodate over time. And they're hiding things that they don't even realize are going on. And, and so that's when, when we see those patients. Again, it's not all about the cosmetics. It's not all about the looks. You know, my goal is always to get them healthy and get them to the point where they can chew comfortably and they're not only chewing on one side because this other side hurts. But what comes along with that is the the secondary benefit, it's the cosmetics, right? They have this beautiful the smile. The boost in the self-esteem and everything and else. And it's amazing where you change one thing in this person's life. I mean, we're fixing their teeth, we're, we're giving them a smile. But next thing you know, they start eating healthier, they start working out because what wow, happens okay. is their self-esteem changes just with a smile to the point where they have this confidence and, and this way about them where it's, they can be who they want to be and, and they're, they're unabashed and, and unafraid. And that's what we see when we do these cases and that's what makes it so much, um, that gives us so much gratification because it's go, it goes well beyond the smile. Yeah, and, and for some patients, it doesn't take that much. A little bit of whitening, you know, maybe straightening the teeth, some crown and bridge work, just getting things healthy. And next thing you know, it, it seems like it's a full mouth reconstruction and there wasn't that much work involved in, okay. the, in that particular case, but the impact is huge. And so Let's it is- Let's see her after. Yeah, so here, here she is and you can see it. It does make a big difference. Um, you know, you can just see it in her eyes, you can see it in her face. Um, I'm not a plastic surgeon, but sometimes when you take care of the teeth and you do a few things here and there, then all of a sudden you start to see, especially on women, the wrinkle lines around their mouth start to So with to her, I mean, you had to help her, I mean, that's why it's full mouth. I mean, you're having to take care of her gums and yeah, there do was a lot some of work there. Yeah, there's some teeth in the back that we had to fix, um, you know, to, to help restore her bite, restore her teeth, because um, she had lost some things over the years. But again, it changes. And, and next thing you know, they're, they're getting their hair done and, and they're putting makeup on and, and they're okay. leaving the house. So, and you can even see in this case, and this happens a lot, um, they, they get a new smile, but they're still, they've trained themselves over the years to, to hide their smile. And, and so they're relearning how to use their new smile and how to use those muscles because they've been guarded their whole life. So it's, it's amazing to see the transformation the day of or even a year after, but they're still learning how to smile with their new, with their new teeth. And it's just a beautiful transformation to see. So look at the before. Um, okay. She's covering the bottoms of her teeth because she doesn't like the way that the bottoms look, the, whether it's the broken or missing areas or the areas of infection. And so even in the after, we've given her this beautiful broad smile, but she's still smiling the way that she used she's to. She's still covering the She's the lower not teeth. used to it yet. And, and she's going to start opening up because I've seen it, you know, sometimes it's hard to capture on camera because we have to tell her. But um, she's slowly but surely starting to change that. And pretty soon you'll start to see her entire smile and she won't be covering it up anymore. You say people with bad teeth are judged. Absolutely. Um, so let me show you. This is probably one of my favorite cases right here. How many favorites can you have had? Every one of these so Every far. Every single one favorite. of them is my favorite. But this one like really show me is baby pictures because, here. This is nice. you know, this patient here, um, tough situation, you know, car accident, um, you know, uh, medications to deal with the pain over the years, just did a number on her teeth. And she was kind of patched here and there between the different offices that she went to. And 
you know, if you if you see her picture, you can just see it in her in her eyes. She was she had lost hope. And, and she didn't think that she would ever be able to get back on track. And so this is, this is a perfect case where there's so many things going on here that we're gonna have to pull from all the different areas of dentistry. That's why you call it full mouth reconstruction. That's why it's called full okay. mouth reconstruction because it's, it's not just one discipline. Like a regular dentistry. general dentist may not be able to handle this. Is that fair to say? It's, it's fair to say just because it's, it's a pretty complex type of treatment okay. where we have to address multiple areas of need but all in one treatment on one patient. Okay. Um, but her, her case was, I mean, it, it pulls it at my heartstrings just because I know what she went through just to get to the point of walking into our office and the conversation that we had and, and the despair that you could see in her eyes as, as far as what options. She didn't think she had options. And, and she's relatively young to have gone through all this. And she didn't want to lose all her teeth and she didn't want to go into dentures. And, and so we talked about that. And, and I didn't think that was the right treatment for her either. You know, she's got a lot of years left. Let's take a look at this after. So take a look at this one. Again, you can, uh, she had no problem smiling when, when we got to oh her finals. Oh my goodness. And it's, I mean, she still will send us messages today. She'll send me messages talking about her dating life or her career and how, just how her life transformed after just getting this treatment. And, and is that the way it is in life? I mean, if you don't like something about yourself, right? Kind of holds you back a little absolutely. bit. Absolutely. And, 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 you know, I'll take credit for the smile. I mean, <laughs> I, I told her, I said, when you get married, you know, you better let, let everyone know that it's, it's because of me. But <laughs> all joking aside, and, and this is who she was. This is who she was before the accident. It's just that when everything happened, she kind of just, you know, cowered into a corner because she was ashamed of her smile because she would get judged. She, she's a, an extremely intelligent woman, but people would see her smile and prejudge her and either think that she wasn't smart or that she may have been, you know, using drugs or, or different things that couldn't be further from the truth. But that's unfortunately the society that we live in. So in your life, and we're out of time, but take, clean up the gums first. Like yeah. give them a brand new, nice set of healthy pink gums, right? Yeah. Try to save some teeth and then do your thing. Yeah. And how long do some of these cases, it takes you like four or five hours in the office to do this? Yeah, I mean, sometimes it could be a full day of treatment. But they're IV sedated, but they're so they under don't sedation, really, so they're, it doesn't bother they're getting the best sleep of their life on that day. And, okay. and we're working hard to get them to a point where they're comfortable. But the, the main thing is we get their gums cleaned up. We get rid of the infection, you know. Okay. We, we, you know, may do some grafting of bone and, and do some crown and bridge, but we're pulling in from every area of dentistry that we can to be able to treat these patients. And, and these cases aren't necessarily veneer cases, um, but in some cases, just getting someone healthy is beautiful in and of itself. That's, okay. that's where the cosmetics come in. Okay, out. we're out of time. I wanna thank you for coming on the show. Good stuff. Thank so, you. So I know you work as a team, you have other dentists there, uh, but, but you still see patients all the time. They can just Absolutely. see Absolutely. Yeah, they can see me. Um, I'm there pretty much all week. And so we, we have a great team uh, at our office in Houston. And come on by and, and let's talk. All right. Thanks again. Good stuff. Thanks, You've man. been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues. 